So, a couple big announcements today. Now that I have everything uploaded, today marks an extremely massive change in direction here on the channel because from this point on, you know as much as I do. I have literally taught you everything I know about 3D modeling, animation, texturing, sculpting, and everything game development related that I know. Which means if you are a completely new developer in Unreal 5, we are in the exact same boat. And if you follow the channel from here on, you will literally see the entire process for how someone goes from knowing nothing about the engine to eventually hopefully publishing something on Steam or itch.io. So if you've ever wanted to literally experience what it feels like to go through this process as a new developer from scratch to see how someone navigates it, just tag along for the ride and you'll see how developers try and figure this mess out in real time. For the past seven years, this has basically been a place for me to share everything I know with you guys. There has always been a lot to teach and I've always tried to structure things in a series in a way that took you from A to Z in a natural way. But as of yesterday, I have completely finished every last series that I had originally planned for. So now that we're done with all the lessons, I'm going to start opening up the channel in a way that's going to be a little bit more organic and interactive. Opening up a Discord, taking questions from you guys, and starting to have a real-time active back and forth once I've figured out how to set things up on livestream. Now, this does not mean that I'm going to stop making tutorials. It just means that I'm going to be making tutorials as I learn new stuff on the fly. So in the past, if we were doing something like a modeling series, then I wouldn't upload any non-modeling related videos until the series was over. But now that we're basically figuring things out from the ground up, I will be learning things on a need to know basis instead of a series basis. So some days we'll be learning about blueprints and then we might need to figure out how to do sound effects. So the day after that, I might just start uploading how I figured out how to do sound effects. So tutorials will still happen, they're just gonna be slightly less structured. And this will actually open up a few different roads for me, because now that I won't be locked into series anymore, I'll be able to actually react to big important changes in the world and technology as they become relevant for us as computer artists. So if some groundbreaking new software or tech comes along that I really believe can save your workflow hundreds of hours of wasted time, then I'll be able to address it the following day without having to finish a series first. Now, as far as live streams go, I have done a lot of back and forth discussion with you guys on the channel and here's basically what I'm thinking. There's already a lot going on in my life right now. I barely have enough time to do anything except upload YouTube videos as it is. So I already work all day, every day, and ever since I started trying to organize a Discord, which has turned out to be way more work than I thought it was going to be, and I really don't want live streams to feel like even more work on top of all of the other stuff. So I have just decided that live streams is going to be one of the few points in my day where I just relax completely and talk to you guys. You know, I'll respond to some of the questions on Discord, in the comments, maybe I'll, or in the chat. And in the background, I'll probably just stream me doing something relaxing, like just playing Armored Core, or sculpting a new 3D character, or, you know, something that doesn't really require me to think or focus, so that I can instead use my brain power to respond and have fun just talking with you guys in the stream. So probably for about an hour, once or twice a week, I'll just have something chill happening in the background, and basically just talk to you guys about whatever you want. I'm not the kind of channel that has millions of subs, so I'm really not expecting the live streams to be very active. It's more like if any of you just want to get some real-time advice or consultations, then you'll be able to just drop by and have your question immediately answered. So think of it more like drop by office hours. If there's a slow day and nobody's in the chat, I'll still be there for the whole duration of the hour. I'll just be working on something like I normally do. But I am going to try and be there regularly on a schedule for anyone who needs it. Now if you've made it this far in the video, that means that you're one of the people who watches most of my stuff. So if you're hearing this, then you might want to know that officially I plan to start the office hours streaming next month, but unofficially, if I can figure out how to do the whole live stream thing a little bit earlier, I will probably have my actual first live stream next Friday evening, because that is when Armored Core 6 comes out, and it also happens to be my birthday. Many of you guys know Armored Core is my favorite game, and it's been like 10 years since the last one came out, and I don't think this kind of coincidence where my favorite game comes out on my birthday will really ever happen again in my life, so that's just going to be a random special live stream where I get to enjoy that magical feeling of playing a completely new game that I've been looking forward to for the first time on my birthday. And so I'm just gonna have a good time, sit back and be a kid again. So next month, office hours, this month, it's really just gonna be about Armored Core. But yeah, that's the plan. I do have some more stuff to say, but we'll go ahead and save that for another video. Anyway, in the meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. And as always, hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you around.